morning, everybody. Uh, Ryan McCachran here up in New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, I'm gonna make a little video today about uh, something, I guess, non-hunting related, but uh, certainly wildlife and habitat related. Uh, I've got a stand of timber here that needs thinned out, uh, pre-commercial thin. And so I've started doing doing that over the weekend and uh, I'm gonna make a little video today so you guys can uh, follow along. Uh, our objective here, I guess, uh, working with SNB Wood Co-op, which is uh, which is a, a private woodlot owners cooperative here in New Brunswick. Uh, we're gonna thin this lot here. Uh, it's about 13 acres in size and uh, it's it's right now about 3,500 stems per acre and uh, optimal uh, growing condition I guess is around 1,500 stems per acre so we're gonna we're gonna thin it out and allow the uh, more quality timber I guess it's a pretty low quality stand in general but we'll allow the what's here the healthiest of what's here to to grow and uh, prosper and hopefully provide a uh, little better income when it comes time to cut it down the road. So our objectives in here, or my objective I guess in here is basically to, there's a there's a, there's a lot of clumps of birch, uh, white birch, very low value timber, low wildlife value, and just doesn't look very nice either. So uh, I guess I'm gonna be removing most of the clumps of birch maybe leave one healthy stem if, if, if it calls for that or if there happens to be any spruce or maple in the area then uh, we're going to remove the, the the birch so we'll be changing the species composition of the stand and improving the health of the stand by doing this thinning uh, job and we'll make a little money for the farm as well so that'll be that'll be good and uh, so anyways I'll, I'll just uh show you my uh stand uh the, the the management plan i guess that was uh provided to me by smb and we'll we'll have a look at what it says and uh kind of give you a better idea what we're doing it's a pretty informative little booklet that they uh, gave me so we'll have a look at that and see what's up okay what we're looking at here is uh this is the species composition of the overstory. Uh, you can see here it says overstory. It's a it's a young stand naturally growing, wasn't planted or anything. And so you can see it's made up primarily of jack pine, uh, birch, and maple. M m there's a lot of birch in here, white birch, gray birch. White birch is on there twice. I don't know, that must be a mistake, but uh, white birch, gray birch, makes up 40% of the stand and then the remaining is uh, jack pine and uh, red maple. So we're gonna be removing as much white birch as we possibly can uh, and optimizing the spacing on the remaining red maple and uh, jack pine, which is gonna be basically a four to five foot radius around each tree. It's a, it's a I think a nine foot spacing is the optimal spacing. And so that's that's what we're we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be looking at removing a bunch of this and uh, I guess it must be 30% white birch and 20% gray birch. So we're gonna be removing as much birch as we can. Uh, like I said, changing the species composition of the of the uh, of the stand. And we'll open up some of this crown closure as well. Uh, the non-commercial species that are growing here is wild blueberry, uh, raisin, some beaked hazelnut. So uh, the added light in the uh, in the canopy will will certainly allow those to uh, provide some more some more nuts and berries and stuff for the animals and uh, for us. This is this is real real handy to my house too. So so we'll uh, pick berries here as well. So anyway, we'll go in and have a look and. Uh, and uh yeah thanks for following along yeah, i'm still cutting away here i was just gonna show you guys on a more uh micro level 
kind of how I'm how I'm going about changing the species composition of uh, of this stand of, of uh, timber here and improving the improving the overall quality and uh, uh, we'll just have a look here I've taken probably what do we got here oh better better part of probably 20 gray birch stems out of this little three by three meter square so you could say it was dominated by by gray birch white birch there a few minutes ago with probably 20 stems all growing out of these couple clumps you can see here these clumps these clumps and I've left just one stem of gray birch there and uh, same over here I've removed all of these there's seven or eight clumps there probably or seven or eight trees in the clump and then uh, I'll flip the camera around here it's too hard to show you like that but we'll look at what what we've left here and, and how we've changed the, the species composition from being or composition sorry from being dominated by gray birch garbage species to now we've got uh, a mid-story white spruce a mid-story uh, maple one gray birch one white pine and another four maple saplings in this in this little area so a much healthier more diverse higher quality small little piece of uh, the stand here so we'll, we'll we'll flip the camera around and have a look okay so just in this area like i say we get this maple sapling the mid-story maple tree i removed three or four small suckers off the bottom and just kept those two main trunks and uh, so you can see here about six gray birch little stumps and here another oh there must be 10 there and just left that one stem standing and we've got this pine it's been snapped off and buried before but it'll have another chance at life and same as this maple here this maple in five years will will thicken right up and be closer to this one here uh, we got our our white our white uh, spruce here and yeah, just coming over here <clears throat> I'll pull these two fur out get rid of those two fur let that white spruce right there have this growing space and there's another white spruce right there so five years from now this little like I say maybe three or four three meter by three meter four meter by four meter square you know 15 by 15 foot square 20 20 by 20 something like that will be completely uh completely changed gotta love it <laughs>